Hey guys, this is Mac Kids and on. And today I have some interesting and good news at the same time. We have finally, or I have finally figured out how to put an iPhone app on the App Store as a developer. I just was too lazy to figure it out before. So anyway, I, I've gone on and I've uploaded two apps. The first one is the Mac Kids on One application, and the second one is called Sorcerer. Now I'll explain what the Mac Kids on One application does first. It's the same as the Mac Kids on One application on the Mac that you may have. It looks pretty much not like this, and it doesn't have your latest video, but it's um, it's pretty similar. It has the about, the news, the info, the um, updates, of course. Um, so it has everything interesting. Um, so for instance. I'm just going to be demonstrating this to you later. So that's the Mac Kids on One app, and it, it gets the latest updates from the internet. Um, I will also say that um, I haven't been updating the Mac Kids on One app at all, pretty much, as much as I should anyway. And so I have to go in, and I'm going to start making more news and actually keep it up to date because that's what it's made for, and I was just too lazy because it seems like no one has it. But I know if this iPhone version takes off, and since it's free, anyone can get it, and it's for 2.0 and later, so it'll run on your 2.0 device, even if it's jailbroken, um, and it, it runs on the touch and the um, regular phone, um, and if it takes off, which it probably a few of our subscribers will get it, then I'm going to start updating the news again, and it's going to be the most easy and efficient way to get updates from Mac Kids on a One. Okay, so that's the Mac Kids on a One app, and I'll show you the actual interface for that later. And the Sorcerer app is, it allows you to view the source code of any web page, CSS file, or other file, including a PNG or a JPEG, actually. But basically what it does is it downloads the raw text of a page instead of the HTML, instead of displaying the HTML. Because I realized the iPhone's like a computer. It even has Safari like a computer. But why can't it view the source code of a page when your computer can? And I was realizing that mostly it's made for um, regular people, not geeks and people who want to steal website stuff and stuff. So basically, I've made this application for geeks, and it's one dollar. It's not too much to ask. Um, and it basically, it, it efficiently and conveniently displays the source code of any page. It can have CSS, it can be a PNG, it can be HTML, it just downloads the raw text of a page. It's a pretty simple app, yet I don't see it on the App Store already. And I think people really love it. Okay, so its icon is a little folder with ones and zeros on it, and this 101 right here. Let me just zoom in there. Sorry, I'm being shaky. There it is. Um, so, if I open it up um, my iPhone simulator, it is running 3.0, but this works on 2.0. And you click on Mac Kids on a One. Here's our Mac Kids on a One app. You can see the progress bar up there. Here's our icon, and here's the about right now. If you click on news or online, you can get that stuff. Online is just like a blurb of information, like at a glance, what's going on. Okay, and so this is just try our new Mac Kids on One account system. So as you can see, I haven't updated this in a while. But I'm, I made a really easy to use system of updating this and post it on MacKidsOnOne.com. So you can expect that I will be updating this a lot nowadays. So if you can also refresh the information if you don't want to have to quit the application all over again. And you see, once it's cached, it goes pretty fast. Which is why occasionally, if the information's not changing, you can hit the home button and open it again. Another application that I have is Sorcerer 101, which is our Sorcerer app. If you take a look at this, right now, this is what it looks like when you open up. You can click the information button and select done. Cool, huh? Yep. So, if I... Type a URL in this box right here. Let's say MacKids101.com and I select View Source. 
page will shortly appear. Oops, I spelled MacKids on the one dot com wrong. See, I keep on spelling my own website wrong. Okay, there we go. So here's the source code to our page. If the keyboard gets in the way, which it should, especially if the iPhone is sideways, then you just click the hide keyboard button. Welcome to MacKidsandOne.com. That's the title. Here's some keywords, some style sheeting. You know, it's interesting to be able to go through through our website because for some of you kids who have iPod touches and Wi-Fi but no real computer, you might want to be able to take a look and see what's going on under the hood of this website. Okay, because you can browse the internet, but it's another thing to actually see the underworking. See if anyone has a comment somewhere in their code that says, if you're reading this, then I really dislike that. Something like that. I know I used to do that with my kids and one. Yeah. So, there's this. You can click reload, and it reloads the source code. It does not bring you back to the top. There's the Pressing the top button, the top of the bar, brings you back to the top. You can also click clear to reset it to the original appearance. Okay, and this will just clear the text box. Okay, so this is our wonderful view source application called Sorcerer for the iPhone. And I showed you the Mac Kids on One application. Okay, so this is what it looks like in 2.0. So this is. Um, just a video about how we're going to start doing some iPhone developing. So, um, thanks for watching Mac Kids on On. In maybe a week, I'm going to make a video if these applications are on the App Store. And it, it would be great if you would buy Mac Kids on One because that way I, uh, I'm going to be working on it. So, I want to be using it to help as many people as possible. And buy Sorcerer because ultimately I would love um, to get a little income off of this. So just check the App Store every day for both of these apps. So thank you for watching Mac Heads on the One. Um, please subscribe to our videos. Subscribing is where um, basically you keep in touch with Mac Heads on the One um, because it helps us help you. Okay, if you subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.